Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. In the last episode, we learned about how to create an active link. That would help us to know which module is currently the user on. And also we will highlight that in our sidebar. That's what we did in the last episode. So today what we are going to do is map the static design and the static content into our dynamic components. That would complete all the movement of the static code into our application. This is important because it would serve our base or foundation to help us build the dynamic content. Since we are going to build forms, services and much more, this would serve as the foundation for us. Let's get started. This is part eight of the mean stack complete live project development from scratch. Please do support this project and please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the videos. Please do comment, share this channel and tutorials with your friends and colleagues. Today we are in the eighth episode. Today we'll be mapping all this static design into our dynamic components. That would serve as a foundation to start mapping and binding the dynamic data. All right, so what are we going to do today? We'll just design the component template screens, right? So that is a static uh, design which I have shown you in episode number two. I'll show it today as well. And that's what we are going to fix the look and feel of the components. That's what we are going to do today. Let's get started. We have a lot of work today. All righty. So this is what we created in the previous episodes. We created the lazy loading modules, uh, customers, dashboard, invoices, payments, loans, etc. Today we will create some more components and make them more robust. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do first is uh, go to uh, loans, UI application, source, app, customers module. So I am in the customers module here. And this is a lazy loading module. If you are not really sure how we did it, please refer to the previous uh, episodes. You'll know. That being said, now I'm going to create a new component. G generate component. I'm going to call it list customers. Right? This is where our data grid will come into picture. So the component is created. It's updated in the customers module as well. Let's go to our customers routing module and say that we are going to use list customers whenever the user enters the route slash customers. Right? So that's the default route which will come to this particular component. So that being done, once that is done, let's go to our application. So if you remember, this is the screen that we designed for our customers. This is a static uh, template that we created. We are going to move this code to our dynamic application, which is this. So first we need to let's start the ng serve, right? And let's uh, serve the application and get it up and running. All right. So let it compile. In the meanwhile, please do subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. All right. So once uh, it's compiled, you will see that all the modules, right? All the lazy loading modules are also compiled and you can see the uh, size of it that's compiled here, right? So this is a new addition in Angular 11 that we see. All right. So now that is up and running. Let me first quickly show you the application. So you go to dashboard. It says dashboard works, loans, customers, payments, invoices, loan plans, right? So now we will go to our static code and I'm going to copy that code as it is, right? So it's a lift and shift and you can create any code that you want, right? Uh, there is no um, compulsory that you have to do the same code that I'm doing. That being said, it would help you if you follow my tutorials. So please do write to me um, and I'll tell you how you can get this code. So I've copy pasted the customer's code. Now let's see how it looks. So go to customers and you see the new data table is here. However, in Bootstrap 5, there are different classes which allow you to get the deflex. That's why you should we should have this in the right. Uh, this should also be on the right. So we'll fix all of that. But before that, let's fix up other screens, right? So similarly, uh, uh, before we go there, I'm going to close this for a while. Here I'm going to create some more components. I'll say add customer. So this is this will be for creating a new customer. 
similarly I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to say e for each right uh, for each of the operation that is the CRUD operation so we are going to say ng generate edit customer right and similarly we'll do we added we created now we will say delete customer right delete customer and we'll also create one more component and we'll call it search customers that would be our search right so this is the basic uh, things that you would require in any lazy loading module that you will do in real time projects so you have the main module which is customers and you have the subsequent child components so this way we can use the technique of sending data using input and output decorators that also we'll do in the tutorials to come but for today the idea is to create the cust uh, the components for customers right so we have done that and for list we copied the code and it looks good and what we are going to do is fix up the routing so go to routing and I'm going to format this little bit here right beautiful formatted code always will give you encouragement to work better and I'm saying whenever you say customer slash add it should point to add customer whenever you say edit it should be edit customer right and then similarly we will say delete and here we are going to say delete customer and last we need is a search right so this is search and here we are going to say search customer right so we added all the routes now for the lazy loading module customers now we have default add edit right and we also know that whenever we edit right we'll pass a customer ID so it would be like this whenever we delete again we'll pass have to pass an ID so this is the dynamic data that we will pass now here uh, in the search I we will not pass any parameter right in the URL instead we will have something called query params right so that also will implement as part of search now one important thing that you should know is all of these would follow similar suit okay so I am doing it for customers here the same thing I'll do for invoices payments um, customers dashboard etc right so get the idea of how it is done right because I'm going to do a lot of components routing etc follow along and create these components for customers and you should be able to do it by yourself all right so let's see how it works now um, all right so we are on customers this is looks this looks good slash add now it should say add customers uh, it's not loading because we have not started so I'm going to say ng serve and start the application all right it may take a couple of seconds let's see that all right so the reason we have to wait is because I don't do uh, editing of videos I do live coding for you so that's the reason sometimes we have to wait all right um, let's refresh and it says add customer now similarly we can say edit slash 10 so page not found that means the route is not working here um, edit I okay edit slash ID so it says edit customer works similarly delete right so we got delete 10 which comes to delete customer so our lazy loading module is done the main page the list customers is set up we got all the child routes also set up for the customers now time to move and copy the other code I'll go to dashboard copy the same main static content go to dashboard and here I'm going to copy it in the HTML itself I'm not creating more components um, the reason is to keep it easy and uh, simple for you so you click on dashboard you should see the screen right and similarly I will go to invoices copy the same code again from main go to my main invoices HTML again you have to create invoices so I would say I would encourage that we create more components here for now it's okay to copy paste the HTML in invoices so you see invoices table is created customers is created similarly 
we will move the loans right if you want this code please write to me I will tell you how you can access this particular code alrighty loans is also done dashboard is done customers payments we have to fix let's go to payments copy the same code go to payments HTML right so now we got payment we got customers we got loans we got dashboard we got invoices uh, let's go and get the loan plans that's the loan type so copy go so if you see a lot of work is done in the static right and that's how any real-time application would work you first create the stack so we have some uh, we need to fix some of these um, styling issues cosmetic issues of spacing etc I will do that um, and keep this code updated but you get an idea that now we have all the links which are working fine we got a dashboard to start we got the content uh, for loans we got customers payments invoices there are some static uh, things that we need to fix like uh, the positioning of this button it has to be on the right um, so we'll fix that um, that being said I think that completes our kind of um, the basic uh, things right um, go to settings uh, it says settings work so I'll copy all of this uh, template that I've created I've put in a lot of hard work in creating this I hope you understand uh, so you need to basically spend time with the code right uh, it's something that you wouldn't directly get it so we got this settings right we got settings we got loan plans invoices payments customers loans dashboard so that maps all our static data to our screens now from the next episode we will start with our customers module API development right that's the backend piece we'll create the routes uh, API's for it to help us map it to the dynamic data from the database to the UI so join me in the next episode we will start with customers API development very exciting I know a lot of you are showing interest in this particular series as part of your learning please do write to me and I will tell you how to access the code and keep practicing with me keep coding along that's the only way to learn if you need anywhere help please do write to me and I'll be happy to help you that being said if you like my work please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode